Thank you very much. Today we are going to create this birthday fire. So first of all, we will set our dimension for this. So I'm using thousand against thousand with three hundred resolution. So this is our main work. Okay. So from here we are going to import our picture like this. Okay. So make sure you resize the picture to get the actual picture you want. Then you go for the pen tool. Okay, so I'll go for the pen tool. Then I'll create one point here. I'll create another one here. Okay, somewhere 25. Then I'll create another one here. Create one here. And then I'll close it at this point. So I have this. Now what I'm going to do next is I have to go to the curvature tool here. Okay, curvature pen tool here. Then I'll create a point here. Drag it to this side. Please don't go too much. Okay, just something small like this is okay. Okay, then do another one here. Drag it to this side like this. After you have created this, okay, just try to manipulate around to see uh to get a perfect curve. Okay, we just need to get some S curve here like that. So I'll confirm that. Okay, then I will just make adjustment to my picture. Now what we are going to do is make a copy of this particular shape. Control J for that. Okay. Then let's change the color to this blue color here. Then use your arrow key to shift it to the left side. Okay, so that we will see the layer beneath, which is the yellow color. Now we have these two colors, okay. Another way you can do and create a shape and give it a border. That's another way, but I usually use this method to get a border for my design, okay. Now, what we are going to do, as you can see from our design, this is what we are trying to create. We need to add some abstract. So I will go to my resources and look for abstract, okay. So I'm just going through my folders. Then one way or one way you can get the abstract is that just go to Google and then search for background or abstract background, white abstract, green abstract, any way you want it. So you can just go online and search for abstract and you get some there. So I have imported my abstract here. Okay. So I'll just make sure I stretch it. I'm abstract here. Then I'll clip it to the layer beneath it. Okay. After clipping it, I'll just try to reposition it. Okay. Something like this. Now, from here, what you need to do is you need to change the blend mode so that we can see the layer beneath. So I will change the blend mode to either multiply or color burn, but preferably I will choose color burn. Then I'll reduce the opacity something like um let's reduce it to something like 70 this 77 70 tiny 70 okay so 70 is cool for me okay so we have something like this now we are getting closer to our design what you are going to do next is i'm going to add my test so you go for the tests okay you can press t for the test then type in happy birthday so we are typing happy, then change the color, typing happy, then change the color to yellow, confirm that. So this is happy. Now from here, I need to change the tracking, okay? So I'm going to select all the tests here. Just try to resize it first, then we will change the tracking for it, okay? So I'll just increase the size small like this, then reposition it. Okay, then go to the properties. Okay, then what we are going to do next is we need to look for this tracking. So this is the tracking. By default, it is set to zero. So we will change it to five. Okay, if you think the five is too small, we can increase it to 25. And this is quite good for me. Okay, now from here, I'm going to transform it and stretch it downward like this. But don't go too extreme because it's going to squeeze your test. So, so don't go too extreme. 
now from here you can either make a copy of your test or create another test okay so i'm going to create another test and call this verb day caps lock okay so you can see we have the verb day so i'll create something verb day something like this then i'll change the color to white okay now i have to change the font as well because i want the font to match our design we are creating something similar okay something similar okay so this i will go here and then i will change from this font to this particular font okay i like this font; it's very nice so i will choose this particular font here then i will change the size to 48 okay 48 the 48 is quite big and it to something like half of that or uh, 30 is quite okay not how okay i choose 80. so from here i just need to choose 24 okay 24 is not bad so half of what is 24 right okay so i'll choose 24 for that then i'll reposition it here so from here what i need to do is i'll just make a copy so we are just going to add the name manuel asamoa okay we are creating something similar it's quite not going to be the same but something similar okay everything will be similar so just make a copy of this one then change it okay just in the test to emanuela manuela asamoa like this okay so we have some we have something like this so from here what can we do what i can do right now is i will just change the size half of 24 is 12 then i will reposition it to multi so we are almost done with our design 80 percent complete now we need to work on that circle plus one day which is quite technical here because of how i did it but if you look closely the simple thing you can do so i will go for my ellipse tool here okay then i will create an ellipse okay like this that will be the first shape and that first shape is going to take the color of blue okay so just create a shape okay by default the color is white so I will drag this one here. Then from here, what I'm going to do next is I will go to swatches. So just increase the size for it. Okay, let's do some changes. Then we can go there. Then go to swatches. So change the color to blue. Very good. So after changing the color, just make a copy of that text. Then change the color to yellow like this. Okay. So from here we want to trim this side so that we get that so we go for the marquee tool to do that so let's go in for the marquee tool and triangle marquee tool then i'm going to select this part okay just drag it out totally like this then from here create a mask like this okay so i'll create a mask so you see we have something like this just make a copy again of that particular layer the yellow because we still need the yellow make a copy of that then delete the mask okay then what we are going to do next is transform it to get a smaller shape like this okay so you are going to reduce the size okay just position it at the center so that we have something like this so you can see we have the two colors we have the blue on the right side and the yellow on the left side so you can see like uh, it's like i don't know how you see it but it's quite technical something so but it's nice so what we are going to do is we just give it a stroke the stroke is too big seven like five five is good. confirm that and then we have something like this so we are almost done and you can see we have created something similar so i'm going to add um my test so plus one plus one the color is yellow i don't want yellow because i'm going to place on yellow so let's change to no the blue is not okay white okay then when we drag to the yellow we can change to blue okay i don't want white white and yellow i don't like it 
so i will change blue so base, choose your colors well so this is how you can create this simple birthday flyer i've already made short on it this is the long form content if you like this video make sure you subscribe and like i hope to see you in my next video my name is Felix Bliss. bye bye